Hey guys, it's Carrie with Mama Dares the DIY, and I'm so excited y'all are joining me for another DIY video today. Now, today's video is going to be a knockoff video of a plate that I saw at Bucky's gas station while I was there a couple weeks ago. Now, if you're not familiar with Bucky's gas station, it is like the love child between a Walmart and a 7-Eleven, and it is just absolutely amazing. And they have some of the cutest home decor that I've ever seen in my whole life. So when I found these, in Bucky's, I thought I have got to have those, but I wasn't really crazy about the colors. I wanted something with more of the turquoises and the pinks, so that's when I thought, you know what, I can totally hack that. So when I saw this plate at Dollar Tree, I knew that was the perfect thing to use for this DIY video, and y'all, here it is. <laughs> Don't y'all think it's perfect for the Valentine's decorations that I've got around the house? I'm totally loving the way this turned out, and you would never know that this started off as a Dollar Tree plate. I mean, look at that absolutely adorable. I just love it. I did use some dishwasher safe Mod Podge to seal this. So technically I could use this and put it in the dishwasher if I wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it sitting around the house. I do hope to do a mug to match it and I think it would be absolutely adorable as a Valentine's Day decoration, don't you? So so keep watching if you want to learn how I made this plate. Now you can also take the techniques that I teach you in this video and make anything you can imagine and for any decor, any season, anything at all, because I do give you some hacks on how you can speed up the drying process. Now, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on all your notifications. So when I make the mug that matches this, you are not gonna miss out. So let's get started y'all. Okay, y'all, so today I'm going to be using this set of 42 pottery and clay sculpting tools from Arteza. As you can see, I've got them all laid out here ready to go. And I'm also going to be painting this with these 36 metallic acrylic colors also from Arteza. And y'all, I've got to open the box just so you can see how gorgeous these tubes are. I'll be honest, I've never worked with the tubes before, so I'm really excited to use these. Okay, now I've got my tools all laid out, and I just want you to see a little of what is in this box. Honestly, it comes with 42 pieces, and there's literally everything you need in here, from cutters to silicone-tipped tools. I mean, look at these ball tools. I love the fact that they're double-ended, which is awesome. And it even comes with a little sponge. I just feel like such a professional that I have these now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now I did pick this plate up from the Dollar Tree and I was kind of digging the fact that it had the swirls on it and it also only cost me a dollar. So now let's go ahead and open up our clay here. Now, if you're not very good at sculpting or if you don't feel comfortable, you can use a cookie cutter but I'm using the DAS air dry clay today and I just keep it in this little airtight container. You just don't want the air to get to it because you don't want your clay to dry out. Now you can pick up the DAS at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or you can even order it on Amazon and I'll be sure to put an Amazon link down below in case you want to pick some up. So now I'm just cutting off a little slab here. And be sure to put your top back on after every time you're done using it so it doesn't dry out. So now I am hand sculpting this, but like I said, if you're not comfortable, feel free to just roll out and use a cookie cutter to cut it. But I'm just taking one of the little knife tools here and just kind of hand sculpting it using my hands and the little tool. The tool that I'm using is a wood tool and it's kind of neat. It does a great job of smoothing out the clay. There's lots of other smoothing tools in here, and I honestly don't know if I'm even using these tools in the right way, but it, it seems to be working out pretty well. Okay, now I'm gonna pick it up because it is pretty much shaped like I want it to, and I'm gonna put it on top of my plate, and I'm just gonna smooth it down a little bit more. And because I do want this to have another layer of clay and another heart on top of this heart, I am gonna just pinch off another slab and go ahead and sculpt another heart to go on top of it. And just use a little bit of water to attach the second heart to your first heart. 
And again, I'm just using my tools to sort of blend those two together and kind of make them look like they're around the same shape. And I'm not fussing too much over the fact that they're perfect because I do kind of want it to have that hand sculpted look. Okay, so now I'm just cleaning up the edges here. And I like it, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, I think I like it. You can see how thick the clay is. It's roughly half an inch thick, maybe a little more, a little less. So now I'm just taking a little tool and making a little stitching to go around. Now, this is the fun part. You can let this dry at least eight hours, or you can speed up the process by popping it into a 200 degree oven to cook for around 30 minutes. Okay, now you know that it's dry whenever your entire clay piece is all white. Now, it's really important that this is all the way dry. Okay, now the fun part. Here we are just putting out the colors that I'm gonna use. I do wanna use the turquoises and the pinks, so I'm just gonna lay them all out in my plate and kinda of go from there. I did end up mixing two colors together to get this really pretty turquoise that I'm using. So I mixed together pearl turquoise and pearl sea green together. So after I went around once, I actually ended up going back right after this because the paint dried fairly quickly and I put two coats on. I'm really digging this beautiful color. All right, now I'm gonna go in with some pink. Now this pink is called Pearl Pink. This is sort of a lighter pink. Now it's time to go in with a little bit darker. The darker one is called Pearl Rose. Just be sure to be really careful whenever you meet up with, with the pink and the turquoise because you don't want those colors bleeding together and making purple. Okay, so now I'm going in with the pale, pale pink and painting in our little bitty hearts. Now, these hearts are very, very tiny and they were already on the plate. So I'm just taking a little paintbrush and dipping it into my pearl pink, making a little dot and then pulling each side down. That's gonna help form that heart. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a darker color called Pearl Pink Tulip. And I'm just taking a glob of my pink and dabbing it in an up and down motion to sort of make like a little frilly outline around my heart. It kind of gives it that scalloped edge look without actually having to paint a scallop on there. Okay, we are almost done with this step. So the very next thing that we're gonna do is to go in with some Pearl Space Gray. And I'm just gonna very carefully go over the scroll work that is on the outside edge of this plate. Now, don't fuss too much about your scrolls, if they're perfect or not, because you are gonna need two coats. So just your first coat, just worry about getting the paint down. And then you can always go back over with your second coat and make it a little more precise. But your very first coat, just like I said, don't, don't be too precise about it. It's not really that big a deal. We do want it to have that hand painted look. Okay, so now I'm going back in with my little bitty paintbrush and just painting in some polka dots around the edge. I just wanna kinda of accentuate that edge and I really like the way that the black looks. Now I'm taking that same space gray and just outlining the edge where my stitching was. So now I'm just picking up my, my ball tool 
and I'm just dipping it into my pearl gray paint and I'm just dotting this. This is a great way to make polka dots without actually having to take your paintbrush and you know paint a circle. So if you just use your dotting tool or your, your ball tool rather and just dip it in and just dot down, this is a great way to do that. So now I want a little bit bigger dot and I'm just taking the back of one of my little metal tools here and dipping it in the same manner that I did before in my black paint and making my polka dots. So now I want to paint the edge black too. And I'm just taking a flat brush and very carefully going all the way around this edge here just to kind of create a nice balance for the black. If you're not comfortable painting around the edge, you can leave this part off, but I do think it adds a nice touch. And I did go over this with two coats. Now, this is very important. You want your paint to dry for 24 hours. Then after 24 hours, we're gonna pop it into a 350 degree oven and bake for 30 minutes. Okay, so the very last step is gonna to be to Mod Podge with our dishwasher safe Mod Podge. I'm just painting a really thin coat and I'm gonna let this one coat dry and then paint it in the opposite direction, a second coat. And I'm gonna finish off with a third and final coat. Now we're gonna pop it into our oven at 175 degrees and we're gonna bake this for one hour. Be sure to let this cool before you take it out of the oven to prevent cracking. Okay, y'all, here's our finished plate. I just love it. It's absolutely adorable. It is perfect. It has all of the colors in it that I'm decorating with for Valentine's Day and I'm just over the moon excited about how it turned out. Now, I have not run this through the dishwasher yet, but I did hand wash it and it held up just fine. So that does it for today's video, y'all. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up because that would mean the world to me. And until next time, happy DIYing, y'all.